Basil Bay. It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Bega baby. <laughs> How are you guys doing? What well, hunting? I am about to make some buttermilk. Yes, you know I make everything good. Like everything good. So get in here, get in here, get in here, and listen, Hansi. Listen. Linda, Linda, listen, okay? I'm about to make some buttermilk. Did I say buttermilk biscuits? I meant buttermilk fried chicken. My chicken has been soaking in the buttermilk. I've seasoned the chicken, and it's been in buttermilk. So you lightly season your chicken, because I'm gonna tell you why. Anyway, how y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? All right, pay attention. I use these in my live pot. I use these seasonings on just about everything. One seasoning I'm gonna try out for the first time. I'm gonna show you my seasons. I put this stuff on whatever I'm cooking, this is what I use. I've never used one of these before, but I'm gonna try it. My oil is getting hot right now. I'm supposed to make hummus too, but let's just focus on the buttermilk fried chicken. Let me show you what I have. I'm about to season my flour. Yes, I am, because you know I like everything tasty, okay? My mouth is even watering. I ain't even cooking yet. Oh, damn. So I got my chicken right here. Soak it in the buttermilk, okay? It's soaking in the buttermilk, okay? Um, it's been soaking for a full 24 hours. Stuff went down and I didn't feel like cooking. I lost my appetite. So it's been in here for a full day. And then, um, and that's why it has this color because it has seasoning and stuff on it. So let's put that to the side. Okay, I'm about to season my flour. I use adobo. Onion powder, garlic powder. This this one is good. It's granulated. I like this kind. Um, sazon packet. I'm just gonna go with one. I have one in the buttermilk already. I'm gonna put in some cayenne pepper. That's why I'm not gonna use regular pepper because I'm gonna use the cayenne pepper. And some paprika. The other thing I'm gonna use, I've never used before, I'm gonna put in a little powdered chicken bouillon because it's gonna have like a, a light little crust on it. So I want that crust to be good, good. Y'all know I make everything good. So these are all my seasonings, y'all. I'm about to just, I'm just gonna eyeball it, okay? So maybe a teaspoon of each in the flour. This is about two and a half cups of flour. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Let's just say about a, about a teaspoon of each. So let's mix that all together. Make sure it's mixed up really well. Okay. you guys another trick that I use that's kind of imperative with fried chicken you don't have to but I, I like to okay so we got that all mixed up I don't feel like having stuff underneath my nails so I'm gonna put on some gloves get this going my grease is heating up you know if you have a thermometer you want to make sure your grease reaches 350 degrees. Some people, um, they'll dip their chicken twice. You can dip your chicken twice. And what I mean by dip it twice I'll show you when I'm done. So 
So what I mean by dip the chicken twice, uh, this has been, you know, dredged in. So now I'm gonna put it back into the buttermilk. And get a second coat. That's when you're really gonna get some crispy chicken. That's extra crispy. I don't want too much batter on mine. Yeah, I don't, I don't want it too much. So I'm just gonna dip once. I did those two pieces. Okay. And I know the chicken is hot enough. You see those good bubbles? Now if you put your chicken in there and there's not a good roaring bubble that's emitting from the oil, your oil is not hot enough, your chicken is gonna be a little soggy. You wanna make sure your oil is hot enough. I've been frying chicken for so many years, I kinda know. But if you're not 100% sure, use a thermometer. Make sure your oil temperature reaches 350 degrees, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to show off my shirt. Isn't she cute? <laughs> she cute, cute. She came in the mail and I was like, I know I didn't order this. Did Instagram catch me one more time? You know, cause Instagram, they begin, you order something from Instagram, you waiting like 99,000 years for your stuff, honey. Um, and I was like, did Instagram get me? I was like, I don't remember this. Who's this from? I don't remember. <laughs> but it was from one of my subscribers. Thank you, what's up, G? <laughs> I love it, and then I got the tank top. The matching tank top because you you know sometimes I feel a little classy, sometimes I feel a little bougie, and sometimes I feel ratchet. I am like all of the above. And you know that just means I'm adaptable to my situation. Cause you know, if I'm out with, you know, my girls or something like that and something pop off, I'd be like, hold up, hold up. Okay? And then you know if I gotta be all, you know, try to act like I'm smart and stuff, I was like, yes. The fact that the matter is, is that the percentage of the rate of the ratio and the Venn diagram is a comparison, but that, but that, uh huh. I don't know what I just said, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, so I'm just adaptable. That's all it means. You can take the girl out of the hood, but you'll never take the hood out of the girl. You know what I'm saying? You know, I can read a book or two. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, I could just rock whatever which way we're going to rock. We can do this thing. We're gonna rock like this. Oh, we gonna rock? Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stalling. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious, Bill. <laughs> yeah. So, bougie, classy, ratchet, classy, ratchet, bougie, adaptable. And sometimes in life, that's how you have to be. <laughs> how you gonna be? Cause in different settings, you gonna behave different ways. When you let your hair or your weave down, when you with your girls or your boys, you know, you gonna rock one way. When you on a basketball court, you may talk that mess. You know what I'm saying? But when you go to the office, you know how to, you in the boardroom, you know how to do the thing. They were like, ooh, he knew his stuff. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, different situations calls for classy, bougie, ratchet. I'm just saying. All right, chicken is smelling good. It is looking good. I'm going to let that cook for about 18 minutes. They're not big, big pieces. So in about another seven minutes, I'm going to flip them over, although it really doesn't need. But I like to move them around a little bit. Looking good, looking good. So, oh, this is what I wanted to show you. This is a little cookie sheet. I know it's not looking cute. I'm not buying a cookie sheet, okay? So, boop, boop, boop. So you have your cookie sheet. You need some wax paper, foil paper, whatever. I mean, you don't have to use this. I'm gonna put this on top of the cookie sheet. Just on top of the cookie sheet. Then I have a cooling rack. Then put this on top. Therefore, when the chicken comes out, I'm putting it on the cooling rack there's no tissue or no towel or anything that can cause the chicken to get a little soggy. It just, the oil just continues to drip off and it has that rotation. The air and stuff can still rotate around the chicken. 
and makes it crispy. Yes! I don't think this chicken is done. you can do if you're making a lot of chicken for a big family as you're cooking the chicken you have your oven on like 225 or 250 not too hot and as the chicken comes out you put the chicken in the oven so therefore even if it's not fully 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 cooked inside may need another minute or so if it sits in the another 10 minutes while the rest of the chicken is cooking you're good to go so you're ensuring that it's cooked all the way through and also with legs I usually slice the um, meatiest part, which I did not do. So therefore, when all the chicken is ready, or everything is done, you sitting down at the table, you all have hot food. That's how you keep your stuff hot, okay? Mmm. 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 Those little crumbles are good. The season, you can taste all the season, it's not too salty. You know I make everything good. Good. still too hot. sure you set a timer for about 18 to 20 minutes for the chicken mm, halfway through the time flip it over depending on how deep your oil is I still like to flip mine regardless I don't know make me feel like I'm doing something and um there you go cute buttermilk fried chicken depending on how big if you got like a big breast you may want to I mean yeah big giant breast you may want to add a little more time and you can also put some slits in the meatiest parts of the breast as well Mm. Mm. All right, guys. Give this video a thumbs up or not. I will talk to you later.